Only thing worse than putting in a water pump on a 301 Pontiac is doing it twice. Find out why. Yes, two episodes ago, we took out the old water pump on Lori G. Prix, my 1979 Pontiac Grand Prix. We got it all ready to in install a new one. Of course, in between then, we had uh, busyness at work, we had Easter, things like that. And I had actually reinstalled or put it installed a new water pump on the car. And I had done a good, great job with all this, this footage, taking my time, showing you guys that how to. <music> But hey, real quick, before we get there, I'm Grant Tommy, this is Straight Six Fan, your home for offbeat hot rodding. Yes, the offbeat hot rod is the 79 Grand Prix. Um, but after I did the, the teardown episode, um, you know, I only had so much time that Sunday, I, uh, I posted on a, a Facebook group uh, asking for suggestions, recommendations, anything you need to look for on the install. And there were two, two comments that came through about this divider plate. And, um, you know, like I said, well, hold on. Upon removal, the engine block, you know, I got the, all the gasket scraped up, looks like this. And so I'm reading these comments about a divider plate, and I'm thinking, I, well, mine must just not come with one, because, like, I, I, don't, I don't see anything. So we got the new water pump all painted up. We got it put on, and the kit came with two gaskets, which should have been my other indicator. Um, so we got this guy on, and um, I even went and got some distilled water. We filled up the system, and um, I turned it over once. It ran very briefly, because this was over a lunch break of mine. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm going to tackle this after work. And uh, But you know that the comments about the divider plate kept, kept like in my head. And I'm like, man, what am I missing? And so I decided to go over to the scrap pile where I had my old water pump and I turned it over. Sure enough, the divider plate stuck to the back of the old water pump. So, yeah. So like I said, I've got all this great footage of the, the how to install the water pump. But today is April 7th. I try to get episodes up on the 8th. So I'm going to reuse as much of the old footage as I've got. But uh, the number one objective is we, we just got to get this on so I can get this upload up on my the 8th of the month is when I like uploads to go up. So um, we're going to get out the wire brush. We're going to clean this up. And we're going to get to installing the water pump again. Got the divider plate all cleaned up, looking pretty good. I'll still have to hit it with like brake cleaner, really just to make sure there's not any kind of gasket residue hanging on. But definitely signs of some pitting around, and that sucks. It's so bad here that you can you can see through it. So we're gonna mix up some JB Weld at least for this side, kind of fill that in, let it cure, and then we'll just make sure when we slap the gasket on this side of the divider plate that it's got. A healthy amount of RTV on it um, but yeah that's uh, once again uh, my my debate is do I spend the time to make from here forward a good video or do I just rely on the good video I had from my first fake install without this and I think that's what we're gonna do because I got to focus in order to hit of course my my normal upload day so that's what the rest of the episodes probably gonna be um, as I focus my energy on on writing the ship here. So um, anyway, we'll uh, we'll keep inserting some old footage and we'll keep bouncing back and we'll close this out before too long.
Okay, well, in theory, this is going to cure in four to six hours, but probably best to leave it cure overnight before I, you know, try to hit it with some aggressive sander or something just to make sure we're flat again. Um, so yeah, I guess we're gonna, let's just act as though I remembered the divider plane <laughs> there a couple weeks ago when I was doing install number one. And, uh, so just use your imagination and think that I did this when I show you these clips. And then, of course, I'm going to be uh, scraping off gasket material off the, uh, the inside of the, uh, the new water pump here. And uh, we'll, we'll ultimately get that back on. And hopefully, next episode, you guys watch mine. Lori G. Priest back on the road. And we're ready to put it up for sale and all those things. I appreciate you tuning in for the story, the ride, the journey. Uh, but that, I think, is going to do it for this episode. To all my six fans out there, thanks for watching.